Uh, Stephen A., who wins this matchup? I'm going to roll with my Steelers. I mean, I think that was a big <laughs> victory that uh, they had last week. It's an emotional pick. I understand that because this season, as far as I'm concerned, is in jeopardy. I don't like what I've been seeing from them. I was happy that they held on for dear life against Tampa. I don't see Flacco doing that kind of damage uh, that Ryan Fitzpatrick did against them, that Patrick Mahomes did against them. I just don't see that kind of thing happening. I see this being more of a replica uh, of their game against the Cleveland Browns to some degree. It's a division rivalry. Them against the Ravens is always smash mouth and very physical. We understand that Connor is going to show what he's worth in a game of this magnitude. I think Antonio Brown is going to get loose a little bit as well. And Juju Smith-Schuster is the real deal. So I think with Big Ben having those targets to throw the football to, I think the offense is a bit more potent than Baltimore's. I don't believe in Baltimore's offense as of yet. I do believe they're rough riders. They're tough. They're going to come. They know they're incredibly familiar with the Steelers and how they like to do things. So it's not going to be easy. But I think when all is said and done, I see the Steelers winning this game 24-20. Ravens are going to win this game. Know why? Because defense travels. Defense travels, and the Ravens got a defense. Their, their DVOA, you know, like the advanced metrics on defense, puts them fifth in the league. That's elite. The top five out of 32 teams, that's elite. But that factors in the Bengals game, where we were just talking about it. You're compromised, short week, and you're on the road. You, you take away that game, and they're, uh, you know, <laughs> they're already top mm -hmm. five with that mm -hmm. factor in where they gave up 34 points. Flacco looked good since the preseason to me. I, like, it's the, and lit a fire under him, you know? Uh, you draft the guy, you light a fire under your, your, your franchise quarterback, and, and it's a new ball game. The main thing about the Ravens to me is, remember the Jags from – from two years ago, they have this amazing influx of defensive talent, free agents and draft picks. And they're going to be this great defensive team, but it took a year. They weren't right away. And then it all came together. Recall last year in the preseason, all I was hearing was the Ravens are going to have this generationally great defense. It didn't happen. Because sometimes that takes about a year to come together. I think it's coming together this year. I think Flacco's got a fire under him. I think this Ravens defense is excellent. I'm unimpressed with the Steelers, although I will say this. Reports of Ben Roethlisberger's demise by your truly, ha your truly has been exaggerated. Roethlisberger was quite good last week. I didn't think he'd look that good in quite a while. The Ravens had the better defense. The Ravens quarterback is underrated. The Steelers are overrated. The Ravens win this game on the road. Yeah, I, I, think, I think defense is why I would swing to the Ravens, although the Ravens' record in Pittsburgh is what it is, and it's not you know, recently been something that works in their favor. But I hate the Steelers' secondary. I just do. And that, well, that, sounds, that, sound, that sounds personal, but it's not, okay? And the reason why I say that is this. They have a lot of money, and they have a lot that has been invested in that side of the football, especially at that level of the defense. And Mike Tomlin is a secondary specialist. And if you remember last year, all the adjustments as far as coaching staff and philosophically what they wanted to be happened on the offensive side of the ball. It was like defense had no issues. We have no problems. Although Tom Brady has continued every time they play them in big games, he has continued to make them look silly. Ryan Fitzpatrick made them look silly. Again, Tampa Bay should have won that football game. They could do whatever they wanted to as far as throwing the football against Pittsburgh. And that's a problem. Why? Because I think Baltimore has more weaponry now than they've had in a long time for Joe. They have no – I've said from the very get-go, and I know I've said it on this show, Joe has no excuses, Flacco. He has you got no receivers now. Anymore. That's right. Still in the he running no game. It's, but you know what? It's serviceable enough to where play action should be a viable option for them because it is respectable enough. Defense will make the difference, and mindset will make the difference. Some teams go into games like this, and they believe they can't win at a division rival stadium. It's they just right do. There. It's not right there. Um, I know that Cincinnati – is a talented team. Yeah. I truly know that. But based on what you described, didn't we expect Baltimore to look better when they visited Cincinnati? Short week? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, they short did. Week, short week. Short week I'll get on. back to that later. Yeah, yeah we did. I, the point that I'm trying to make to you is that when we talk about the AFC North, particularly with these teams, and you're talking about, yes, defense does travel, so does Psyche. And the reality is, is that Baltimore and Pittsburgh, there's something about Like, for example, even when I think the Pittsburgh Steelers are the bomb, I'm always saying, oh, damn, they ain't Baltimore. They're going to lose this week. Yes, you know because when I they go you. to Baltimore, it's a problem. On when Baltimore comes division, to Pittsburgh, yeah. it's but, a problem. But you know what? In to Lewis's point, that's what happens. I, that's a good point. But to Lewis's point, 
they have a sneaky good receiving core. Yeah. Like this is when you think about the guys, they have a they have Brown that you could fly. You got Crabtree who is also sneaky a good. Steady, that's steady, a steady, 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 steady. and Sneed now. Like you have guys on that team, the kind of receiving core Flacco really hasn't had. I just you know I just from standing down there on the field Monday night and watching this team and watching their sideline, watching their players play. There's something about them that just concerns me, Stephen. And I know that history is your guide here, right? And when teams travel in that in the north, they struggle on but the I've road. About the but but I'm just, I'm just telling years. you, and, and and maybe maybe I'm just trying, maybe I'm just taking a flyer on them, really trying to, or rather, coming mm-hmm. away with a win. I just like how Baltimore is put together, and I just fundamentally and structurally don't trust the Steelers. Are defense. y'all ready for this? I just don't. If the Baltimore Ravens win this game, you will. No, no, oh. it will not be because oh. of Flacco. <laughs> It will be because of Lamar Jackson. Mark my words. If Baltimore wins this How's game, that? because you're going to insert him. You're going to exactly. You're going to insert him and put him in a position. Obviously, he's be on the field, and he's going to be dynamic with his legs from the pocket. See, Flacco is a stationary target. To they don't need way. Lamar to win not, this game. I'm not saying they don't. I'm saying you might need him for a play here or there. I'm not talking. Obviously, mm-hmm. Flacco's going to get most of the snaps. He's going to start. He's going to do all of that. But I'm telling you right now, they're going to throw a, a monkey wrench into the plans. Mm-hmm. They're going to insert Lamar Jackson at some point to make a play with his legs. That is the We've way. We've seen that, that in games early in this season. If Baltimore trickery. wins this game, that will be how it happens. Baltimore's going to win the game. And by the way, just be, let's make a wager. Tell, 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 let's make listen, a wager. You already lost to me. You lost to me oh, last year. Oh, what? Oh, with golf? Really? He's still, just, you are still going to hang on that. I think that worked out for you, the golf. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, be careful. You know